So now that you've seen how easy it is for us to understand and crack and break these WEP and WPA keys, naturally what you're thinking is, well, how do I protect myself? Well, number one, the attacks that you saw against a WEP encrypted access point and client is one that was using a very old form of encryption, as I said earlier on. Now, that actual encryption standard is very subjected to what we call your replay attacks, whereby you can replay traffic against a WEP configured access point, and you won't actually have the other clients drop off from connecting to that access point, but the access point allows replay traffic to actually be received or sent by the potential malicious person out there. So a good upgrade would be to move up to the minimum WPA. And uh, we'll be talking more about WPA in a few moments. But WPA was the very first implementation which was an enhancement of uh, WEP and that enabled us to actually restrict these replay types of attacks and also allowed us to use a much larger key length which enabled us to use more unique encryption keys. So basically every time one packet goes out onto the wireless network it uses a slightly modified encryption key so that obviously every packet that goes out is using a slightly different form of encryption so it's not always that easy to break. So the countermeasures to all of this folks in the corporations typically found uh, because of the expensive form of uh, software and hardware that's required would be to use an EAP, your Extensible Authentication Protocol, with TLS, your Transport Layer Security. That's a typical EAP TLS deployment. What does it mean if we decipher some of the acronyms? Simply means that on your client, your mobile, your laptop, you've got to have a certificate installed. It's a digital certificate like a passport. And that's going to be used to identify yourself to the actual access point. Now, the access point will be passing that information through to a back-end service, such as a RADIUS service. Now, RADIUS stands for your Remote Authentication Dialing User Service. I'm going to have about a three-minute break now, because that was a very long word. So, the countermeasures to this would be to use both client-side as well as back-end side authentication. It's also known as multi-factor authentication because you're still going to have to use an encryption key, whether it be WEP or WPA, so it allows for multiple technologies to be used to harden the wireless network. So if any of you are a wireless uh, engineer or a RF engineer, you're going to know that a lot of the wireless equipment doesn't come very cheap. This is a great little uh, hardware device that comes with great software called your Wi-Spy Spectrum Analyzer. It's a small little USB device that allows you to analyze the different types of frequency and RF signals uh, in and around you. Again, I'm going to go through a demonstration of this, so don't stress too much about exactly how this works. But uh, you will also see a website where you can purchase this. And uh, it was at around about $100.00. But then they started adding some more hardware components and developing the software further. So now it's anywhere between two and four hundred dollars, depending on what optional extras you purchase or what add-ons you want. Now this is one of my favorite toys, the yellow jacket. Now the yellow jacket is simply a highly customized PDA. Uh, it could be using an iPack. Uh, they used an array of different uh, models within that range, but what it was really is a basic PDA which was then modified to accept a specific type of wireless card. It had its own type of housing. So with that type of device, not only are you able to go and do a war drive as an example, but one of the benefits of using this type of device is that you can actually use a directional finding antenna, which will actually tell you where the signal's coming from without having to have you know, these three or four different suitcases full of other types of equipment. They do cost anywhere from about $3,000 all the way up to over five, ten thousand dollars $10,000, so they don't come cheap. So sadly, as we come into the end of this presentation, naturally I want to leave you with some confidence to know that A, your corporate networks, or B, your home wireless network actually has chances of surviving in this new age that we actually live in, in this high-end, high-tech uh, industry. So you do actually get specific types of intrusion detection devices. 
that are specifically designed and developed for wireless networking. So just as you would have your firewalls or your intrusion detection systems for other Ethernet type networks, you also have them now all communicating within a centralized environment for large corporations where they actually have their RFID sensors in and around the environment that's actually configured to alert the engineers or the security response department of any potential types of threats or attacks that the company network may be under. Now you can go out and uh, look at the Planet 3 website. The Certified Wireless Networking Professional Program has a multi-level form of certification tracks that takes you from the Certified Wireless Network Administrator all the way up through to the actual consultant level within the uh, Planet 3 uh, certification track. Uh, do take note that we also have our own very specific penetration testing for wireless networking uh, programs out there that we deliver it throughout the world and uh, that really covers more of a, uh, a slant on the security side of wireless networking rather than just the fundamentals of wireless networking. Also to, to take note, there's a number of websites out there that will be very helpful if this is something that you've really enjoyed and you want to get uh, more involved in. The Wireless Defense. Now if you're American, it's not the American spelt defense, it's the defense with the C-E at the end. So wirelessdefense.org website has an array of tutorials, got an excellent amount of white papers that you can download and read through and it will actually give you step-by-step -step tutorials in using some of these tools, these specified types of uh, customized operating systems as well for wireless networking. Do remember to go to the secureia.com website for more updated news, information on some of our training programs. But I just want to say to you all, it's been a great uh, time for me to present this to you. This is one of those uh, uh, technologies that we know is going to continue to grow because people need to remember that laying an Ethernet cable and having one port in the wall typically costs about $150 to $200 per that one socket in the wall. Whereas if, if you think about wireless networking, you don't have to worry about laying all of those long cables uh, as well as the actual costs involved with Ethernet. Wireless becomes a lot cheaper. So thanks folks and uh, take note of uh, our email address should you want more information. It's info at secureia.com. Thanks for watching. You have a great time.